welcome back so in this lecture let us see uh, one more important uh, component which is specific to ios sliders so how to automate sliders using appium so right now this is in this position what if i want to pull down to this end or pull to the beginning okay let's see how can we automate this using appium right so refresh your source to get the screenshot of that page so here i want to select the sliders okay i will tap on it so it's easy that there is an accessibility id for sliders for sure to select that okay so this is an accessibility id so using accessibility id you can go ahead and click on this menu item right so after you tap it you will land on to this page okay so now our goal is to move this slider to the beginning so let's start with that so when you hover here yeah here it is so if you select this you can see the tag name says type slider okay so when you select this tag then it is exactly showing that slider and you can see that value is 42 so starting from 0 to 100 your actual point is at 42 percent 40 second position considering the zero from the origin and the last one is 100 if you calculate like that by default it is in 42 percent okay now the very simple way to pull it zero is to give zero percent okay so it's very simple when you give zero percent it will go to the beginning and when you give 42 percent it will go to the point where it is initially there okay so keeping that in mind let's try to write a script and we will try to set this value to zero percent and then that will magically go to the beginning that is what we have to do right uh, let me create a new test and I can use the desired capabilities of what we have used in the previous test. Extends base iOS test. Okay, so I will directly start by selecting that slider with accessibility ID. So find element with accessibility ID sliders sliders dot click so that will take you to the next page next first of all let's try to grab this uh, complete object so you know you have an xpath here right slash slash tag name you can directly give this okay so don't try to give the xpath with value 42 percent because tomorrow if that value is changed then your test will break so simply use this tag name and write xpath around it so that it will identify this one automatically driver dot find element with xpath slash slash the tag name okay now ios supports a slider object so to get that working you have to cast your find element with ios element so when you cast your find element with ios element then that means you will be able to get some additional functionalities as well let me show what are those so cast it with ios element and then you can write like this ios element slider so this will not be available in general web browsers import right now so this slider object knows that the element what we are storing is specific to ios element okay so when you try to do that in the android element it will not work so the technique what i am showing now will work only for ios so that is the reason we are specifically casting this element to ios okay now slider by default slider value is 42 percent 
so this object now will know everything about that slider because uh, that is specific to ios so it will assume that it will have some value attribute which is 42 percent so simply you can do like this slider dot set a value right you see this so these are the methods which comes only when you wrap it in ios element set value to what set it to zero percent and that's it that will set override this 42 to zero when it overrides to zero then um, it will go to the beginning okay so let me show you um, i'll pull it to the beginning right and then i will take one more screenshot with the updated snapshot in the mobile right it's in the beginning right now go to the slider tag you see that value is zero percent okay so to take it in the beginning you have to mark it as a zero percent so that is what we are doing through our test so if you don't give this ios element then um, you won't get this method available on your object so that is very important you won't get this so make sure you do it okay so this will take to the beginning now what if i want to take it to the end so we generally think that um, slider dot set value to 100 percent right and that will take to the end but there is one catch here this set value method takes a values from 0 to 1 so if you want to take to 42 percent then you should give 0 0.42 if you want to take it 90% then 0 0.90 if you want to take it to 100% then you should simply pass 1 1% okay so the set value method is uh, created in such a way that 0 is in the beginning 1 is at the end and what all you have middle are the percentages so this 42 is nothing but 0 0.42 but these two steps will take your slider to the beginning and they also take you to the end two operations will happen okay so that is what uh, we can put assertion here now once you take it to the 100 percent now that set value will take something like this right this step will take you to that so when you come across a slider which is moving to end your value will be now to 100%. Let me show. You see, value is 100%. So, how would you confirm that your slider is moving to 100%? So, you can just say slider dot get attribute. Get attribute of uh, value. So, when you do get attribute, then it will get the value of that attribute. So here what attribute is value. So this step will go to the value attribute and will pull up this value which is 100% in our case. So you can put assertion with either testng or junit assert dot assert equals expected 100% actual should also be 100%. So this will work only when you set to 1% okay so do remember and don't confuse set value method will take values from 0 to 1 but actual value attribute will take from uh, 0 to 100 so if it is 42 percent here value attribute will tell 42 but in your automation test set value will take it as a 0 0.42 if it is 100 then it will mark as a 1 okay so here there is an error because we don't have any assertions library available we just had only appm in our pom.xml so let me do one thing i will quickly get testng dependencies into our xml file okay so i'll place it here in the bottom yeah this is a just a framework which supports assertions so if you are watching my course and if you have not come yet to the point to know what is testng don't worry this is one of the framework which will give you the many futures for a test automation framework development which you will see shortly in the upcoming lectures okay by having that dependency i can push the assertion so move your cursor and then you will see import asset right 
let me run this test and see how it goes so our script has to pull it to the beginning and at the end okay so first it will click on sliders you see that beginning to end we have successfully moved our slider to the origin and destination by setting this set value method and do remember to wrap it in ios element and we had an assertion here let's say um if you put 98 here because we are expecting that it should uh, stay at 98 but we are pulling it to 100 then it should kick us with an error instead or i would say like this 0 0.5 so that means it will exactly give us, us to the 50 percent right but i am still expecting 100 percent what happens your test should report a failure let's see so now it should pull to the beginning and to exactly to middle you see 0 0.5 has pulled us exactly to middle and here you will see a failure because it is saying we are expecting 50 percent but found 100 okay so this is how you can work with assertions i hope now you understood how you can handle sliders in ios apps using appium see you with a one more new topic in the next lecture um, for that i would introduce another app to demonstrate swiping and uh, long press gestures in ios apps okay thank you